you're making your way to Portland. That's going to be a heck of a moment when obviously they remember Paul Allen before that game. And then it's going to be LeBron coming out in a Lakers uniform. What is the realistic expectation, do you think, for LeBron in his first year with the Lakers, Chris Webber? <laughs> well, this is, you know, uh, I I think the only one that agrees with me is, is Charles Barkley. So I, I know he's right a lot, but then again, he's been epically wrong. So I don't know which side <laughs> nice. of the history. But this, this is my thing, and, and I, I just hope fans really understand this. So let me start by saying this. If the Lakers make the playoffs, no one will appreciate how great LeBron is. This will be one of his best accomplishments because this is the West Coast. You're asking him to win 20 more games in a conference where teams are so good, veteran teams, and he has a team of newcomers this first year. We saw that he couldn't win a championship in um, Miami's first year. How hard is that once you get guys together? We've seen that with a lot of different teams, but, yes, he makes his players better. Yes, he's the, one of the smartest players, one of the greatest players ever to play. He's going to energize that community. But I still see their move being next year because I just have a couple questions. Besides him, who's going to shoot three-pointers? Mm-hmm. I guess Hart, right? I, I don't. It's definitely not Lonzo off the top of my head. It's not Rondo. They're down, they're down three. We double team LeBron. Who's mm-hmm. going to shoot the three pointer? All right. That's all I want to know. Yeah. Who's going to Kuzma? Get one of the Kuzma can fill it up. I mean. Um... Wow. So now we depend on the second year power forward. Okay. I'm just throwing these names out. Yeah. At no, you. no. No. Yeah. I'm. I'm with you. I'm just. You know. That's not the Shane Battier, Kyle Corvers. Uh, you know, the Mike Millers, you know, the guys that hit eight for eight in the finals, and Ray Allen. I, I'm just saying that with talent, specific talent, with this team that they have now, and I like the players that they have, it doesn't seem that they have the skill sets to win in the West. And, of course, you know, Kalinka's my man and, and Magic's my man, so yes. they probably will make trades and help the team. But as the team stands today before their first game, I do not see how they're going to make the playoffs in the rough West with the new team. And I just don't think they have uh, the shooters. I think it's too many ball handlers and, and not enough shooters. Not even the eighth and final playoff spot with LeBron. I mean, that would be based on last year's standings. The Lakers would have to be plus 12, plus 12 in the win column to get to the eighth and final playoff spot. If everything stayed from last year right. is this year. And based on, based on that, then Denver, uh, who lost by one game, who I think is going to be a top four team, you got to give them 10 more wins. Uh, you know, you got to take San Antonio into consideration. So I do think there's a chance with injuries and things like that. But, you know, when you go to Denver uh, after, and, and then on a Wednesday in Portland uh, on a Thursday, those back to backs kill you. Uh, there's more traveling on the West Coast, uh, as I'm sure many people understand. You know, when mm-hmm. you're traveling on the East, you go from Toronto to Cleveland, an hour and a half, two hour flight. Uh, you go to Texas after an L.A. game, that's three and a half hours. You know, uh, it's just uh, it's just all the, the, the little intangibles along with new teammates and along with guys that LeBron being the best penetrator in the game, getting to the lanes, getting double and triple teams. When he kicks it out, you still got to knock the shot down. You can say, what you want about J.R. Smith, Kyle Corver, those guys, but they did knock those shots down. And I'm interested to see who's going to step up and knock them down because I love Brandon Ingram, but he's a slasher. Um, you know, I see all slashers and, and want to see besides LeBron who can consistently knock down that house. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.